We're going to shift gears, though, and talk about what uh, AI and the advancements of uh, artificial intelligence, uh, what's in store for 2021? Where is all of this going to go? Who better to discuss this than Rob Thomas, who is Senior Vice President, IBM's Cloud and Data Platform. Thank you for joining us. Um, I, I took, because I had this very elaborate note from your people about what IBM is already doing with AI in the real world. And you have examples. Uh, and we're talking about the Watson computer, by the way, right? Uh, GlaxoSmithKline, PayPal, GM Financial. How am I interacting if I go to those places with IBM's AI? And then what's coming down the pike? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. It's been an amazing year for AI as we've seen it accelerate with the pandemic. We've seen adoption in businesses go from 4% to 14%. Now I would say we're pushing 20%. And you use some of our great references that are using AI for things like virtual assistants, for AI ops, automating how they manage their IT systems. AI is starting to change the way that business is done. I would say the number one lesson we have learned is there is no AI without IA meaning information architecture. You have to have data in order to do AI. So a lot of these projects become about how we help businesses understand their data and make their data ready for AI. So Rob, certainly the promise of AI, artificial intelligence is not artificial, it is super real. You're talking about, you take that data, you're processing it, you're coming up with actionable insights um, for these, businesses. I, I think one of the big questions out there, and I think you touched upon this in your note, is trust. And, you know, often we talk about AI from a consumer perspective, how I might interact with a business using AI, but would love to kind of understand um, from the business perspective, your client's perspective, and the importance of trust and how you um, honor that trust. Many people got their first experience with AI through a consumer use case, like photographs on Instagram or something like that. AI in a business context is actually quite different. And we have focused with Watson on three areas. Language, so how a company understands all their documents, all their communication. Automation, we talked a little bit about automating customer service, automating IT operations. The third one is trust. How do you understand all of the AI that you have running in your company? How can you trust the decisions that are being made if you're in a regulated industry like telco or financial services, you need to be able to prove to a regulator that you understand how AI is making decisions. So trust is the big third aspect of how we think about AI for business, but all three are very important. You've got to have an understanding of language, you need to have automation, and it all has to be trusted because that is the only way AI will really scale for enterprises. When you talk about language automation and trust, as the consumer, I've been on the chat with companies and I didn't know if I had a person or AI. Does that trust component carry over to me, the consumer? Are you seeing that, for instance, with GM Financial and the Watson Assistant? I mean, you say 50 to 60% of live chat involved AI. It's always about making the human interaction more efficient. Because in many of these cases, they're still a customer service rep, but AI is making them more productive, making them better at solving the problem. And in everything that we do in AI, we think trust and transparency is critical. That's why we've set up an AI ethics board. So we're very focused on being transparent, helping our clients also understand how AI is being used in their environment. In fact, one of the things announced just last week is what I would refer to as a nutrition label for AI, something we developed in IBM Research called fact sheets. So any AI that you have running, you can basically get a nutrition label, which is seeing how exactly is it being used, what is the data that's being fed into it. We think this is really critical for any business that wants to run AI. Rob, as long as it's gluten-free, you'll probably have a hit. Forgive my bad humor. Rob <laughs> Thomas is the senior vice president, IBM's cloud and data platform. Thank you for joining us here at Yahoo Finance.